from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. If you own an older iPad or iPhone, and that's probably millions of people around the world, you may want to listen up. It's breaking news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, owners of old iPhones and iPads must update their software by midnight on Saturday or risk having their devices forced offline. Apple warns. From Backyard Tech, this is breaking news. Good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is breaking news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning. The first of two news stories I want to cover, but this one I want to get out. Um, this is from the Daily Mail, Daily Mail updated uh, just over an hour ago in my time. Uh, no, sorry, two hours ago in my time. Apologies. Um, owners of old iPhones and iPads must update their software by midnight on Saturday or risk having their devices forced offline. Apple warns. Issue was triggered by a GPS clock reset in April, which happens every 19 years, as we are all aware. Users have had months to update their software, and the deadline is Saturday. That's this coming Saturday. Otherwise, the iPhone 5 will be left unable to connect to the internet. Also, users need to update iPhone 4S, iPad 2, iPad Retina Display, and 4th Gen iPad. <coughs> People using an iPhone 5 need to update its software, or their phone will stop working on Sunday. Apple has warned that from 12 a.m. on Sunday, November 3, iPhone 5 owners won't be able to connect to the internet unless they have iOS 10.3.4. Web browsing in Safari, emails, App Store, iCloud and Maps will all go offline for people who don't keep their phones up to date. Those with iPhone 4S and various older iterations of the iPad will also need to update their software on their devices. The problem stems from a GPS issue which only occurs once every 19 years and happened in April, causing some devices to lose track of time. When the GPS rollover happened in April, Apple had to push out a bug fix to stop devices, location services and clocks from becoming confused. Because of the way the, week, the weeks are recorded in GPS systems, the date effectively reset to zero every 1,024 weeks, every 19.7 years. The bug fixes were only applied to Apple software iOS 10.3.4 and iOS 9.3.6 and later, so anyone who hasn't updated will face serious problems, 9 to 5 Mac reported. Apple warns Sorry, Apple warned users of older devices in July that they had almost four months to update the software before Sunday's moment of reckoning arrives. iPhone 5 owners have been receiving pop-up warnings on their phones telling them, to, the, telling them, quote, action required for iPhone 5, close quote. Users must also upgrade iPhone 4S, iPad 2, iPad with retina display and fourth generation iPad. This is actually a long article. In a release on its website, Apple said, quote, starting before 12 a.m. UTC on November 3, 2019, iPhone 5 will require an iOS update to maintain accurate GPS locations and to continue to use functions that rely on correct date and time, including App Store, iCloud, email, and web browsing. This is due to the GPS time rollover issue that began affecting GPS-enabled products from other manufacturers on April 6, 2019. Affected Apple devices are not impacted until just before 12 a.m. UTC on Sunday, November 3. If the software isn't updated by the 3rd, the only option will be to connect your phone to a computer and do it manually through desktop apps. To update iPhone or iPad software, click Settings, General Software Updates. Um, now, it's a long article. I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check it out. But what I, I, I know, I've got, I, I know I'm supposed to, by law, keep my mouth shut. Um, but those who don't upgrade or update your phone software and don't do it for an iOS device, 
You've only got yourself to blame if your phone goes offline. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check out the rest of the article. But there you go. Owners of old iPhones and iPads must update their software by midnight on Saturday or risk having their devices forced offline, Apple warns. Stick around, more coming up. Have a good one. Cheers.